What's going on, everyone? Welcome to our Goalie Doctor series. Here, we're going to be breaking down videos sent in by you guys in the community, where we're going to cover the things that you do well and give you a few tips for some things to work on. In our very first video, our friend Kimo decided to offer up some of his videos for us to break down. In this video, Kimo's gonna be playing some club games with his team, KPCHT, as they compete in the World Chell Season 1 Elite Finals. Starting off with his build, he's using the gold Last Stand X Factor. And then for his silvers, he has Instincts and No Timer. And then for his attributes, he has Angles and Low Blocker. When I see this, it looks like stuff that's heavily focused on breakaways as well as instincts. I think if you're someone that uses the instincts uh, modifier, I think that this can be really helpful as it'll boost your ability to make saves while using it. As far as the golden last stand, Kimo also plays threes. And in this video, he does play a lot of threes games before. And I think that can be really, really helpful since you're facing a ton of breakaways. But I think in this case, it would be good to maybe have another sixes build that's more focused on things like one timers, tips, cross crease passes, etc. On this first play, the other team makes a couple of really good passes that quickly turns the situation into what should be a two on O. In this clip though, it looks like Kimo's defenseman is playing a little deep and that allows them to get off one more quick pass for the one timer goal. Now this one is tough because this should be a two on one and that left defenseman should be up there either cutting off the pass or playing the guy with the puck. But of course by him sitting next to Kimo, that makes it a tough decision to choose between playing the shot or anticipating that one time pass. As far as Kimo's position on this play, the one thing I notice is that when the puck carrier is in the slot, he makes one slight shift on his left stick over to the right, and that's where it looks like the player picks up on that and makes that quick pass over. So I'd say the key here would be being a little bit more controlled with your movements because one little shift the wrong way and players can kind of pick up on that and make a quick move to catch you at position. This next play comes off a defensive zone draw when Kimo's team is on the PK. I really like this next sequence because it highlights Kimo's great play reading abilities and you can see that when he's moving his right stick using instinct. And at first glance this might not look like much but when that pass gets made into the slot it's very easy for most goalies to just slide to their glove side there, anticipating that the guy is either going to shoot the puck quickly or keep moving towards that far side. But Kimo has great patience, holds his ground, and waits for the guy to start cutting back across to his blocker side, where he makes a nice controlled save. And now this next save comes while they're still on the same PK. This is right after that great partial breakaway save that he makes. And you can see, once again, him using his instincts. On this play, his teammate gets the puck stripped from him just off to his left side. And so the guy from the other team takes the puck. He does a little curl move just below the circle. And that gives his other teammate time to come in to the slot and open up for a pass. And on this play, Kimo's down in the butterfly on the short side post facing the puck carrier. But at the same time, he has his right stick moved up and to the right, anticipating that cross crease pass. And ultimately, that's what we end up see happening. We see the guy throw the puck through the middle to his guy in the slot. The guy picks it up, brings it over to his forehand, takes the shot. And luckily, where Kimo was guessing right with the instinct, he makes a great controlled blocker save moving left to right. Well, I think this is a really great save and also, again, a really great example of how to use instinct correctly. The one thing that is tough in this situation is that I think Kimo stays in the butterfly a lot more than he needs to. So while he does make some great saves using the instinct, I think he would be able to make things a little bit easier by staying on his feet a little bit longer. And this next play reinforces that point of getting back to your feet as quick as possible. Here we have a guy up on the point who dishes the puck across to the opposite circle for a guy going for an OV style 1T. Similar to the first goal, 
when Kimo goes out to challenge the shooter, he makes a slight move that puts him out of position and that's where the opposing team makes that quick pass. Fortunately, between the post and a good animation by Kimo's goalie, the puck stays out of the net. For this play to make it a little bit easier on him, what I would do is play a little bit deeper when that puck goes up to the point, just because you have that guy open in the far circle there and you want to be able to get over there quickly and controlled in case he does end up going for that one tee. On this play, we have another tough power play situation where his team's really getting hemmed in their own zone and his goalie has lost all of his energy. Once again, in this clip, you can see just how good Kimo is with anticipating using the instinct because once that guy makes the pass from the circle down to the guy on the short side post, he's already anticipating that cross crease pass with his right stick. This one's difficult again because he has two defensemen there who could be able to either knock the puck off the original guy's stick or cut off the pass to the eventual scorer. But since they're a little bit too high in the slot, that pass ends up getting through both of them and that ends up leading to the goal. In this situation, I think the right stick save could come in handy a lot just because if you're standing up and you move quickly with that right stick, you might be able to get a great split animation to make that save. This next play is another one of those ones that's deceptively difficult because as the guy is carrying the puck around behind the net, you have Kimo's teammate behind him trying to bump him off the puck as well as the skate of the opposing player in front of the guy with the puck almost screening the puck carrier stick so you don't really see him do that animation to pass the puck up to the open guy in front so that makes it kind of difficult to as far as timing goes to know should i stay down and move over to the far side in case there's a wrap or do i still stay on that short side in case he tries to make that quick pass play out front based off chemo using his instinct here he definitely has the right idea moving it up and to the right, anticipating that that guy is gonna shoot it towards the far side. Since when the guy's on his forehand, the puck is more so in the middle of the slot. I just think he moved a little bit too early because that initially exposes the short side, which he then recovers to, but then by that time he moves back to the short side, the guy just skates around him and puts it in the far side. This is another one of those cases where I think he does a really great job anticipating the play and thinking about what would the player do in this situation. But I think by moving around in the butterfly, it makes it a little bit more difficult for him to reset when he overcommits to one side. So I'd say in this case, the key would be stay on your feet. So then that way you can quickly readjust if you overcommit slightly one way or the other. Now this next clip I think is the best example of how to use instinct correctly. Because not only does Kima make one, but two really nice saves. The first play is actually kind of similar to the goal he gave up earlier in the video, where the guy had the puck behind the net and threw it up to the guy on the short side. This time, Kimo stays very patient, holds down that short side, and when the player ends up getting a little backhand shot off, he makes a great pad save and directs the puck over into the corner. And despite great rebound control, the other team ends up picking up the puck and coming back again for another shot. And this next one comes off a broken play where his teammates are covering the slot, trying to poke the guy off the puck, but still a force ends up going through. Despite all that traffic out front, Kimo's already anticipating that cross crease pass with his instinct. And that ends up leading to an amazing Sports Center top 10 glove save. Da, 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 da. Now to recap. I think Kimo does an amazing job at using the instinct. This is something that I feel like not a lot of goalies, especially higher level goalies are using. So it's really great to see somebody who can use it very, very efficiently. Another thing I like about Kimo is the ability to read the play. And I think this comes through with his instinct because we can see where he's anticipating the puck going, which can clue us into his thought process on how he's reading the play. And as far as tips, I'd say the biggest thing would be to stay on his feet more. I think he makes a lot of great saves using the instinct, but I think by staying in the butterfly too long, it can leave him vulnerable to some really quick passing plays, and it'll be tough for him to reset if he's down moving around in the butterfly. And in tandem with this, the other thing I would say is to move less and trust your instincts. 
like I said, Kimo does an amazing job reading the play and is able to use his instinct to help make great saves by anticipating. So I think by being a little bit more patient and relying on his play reading abilities, he'll be able to make a lot more controlled saves. But that about does it for our first Goalie Doctor video. I want to give a big thank you to Kimo for sending this video for us to look over. And I also want to thank all of you for tuning in. This is going to be the first of many videos in our Goalie Doctor series. So if you want to be featured in our next video, go join the BTP Discord and fill out that Goalie Doctor form. Thank you all again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.